Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. A bench outside this room where people can wait and a bench outside this room where they can wait. And then we will go over here because I've got a couple of rooms over here. And I'm just going to put one there. And I'm going to put one over there, like that. Now, I'm assuming that the staff do come back over this side to take their breaks. I'm not quite sure about that. I'm, I'm making an assumption on there. Uh, so let's press play again. There was one other thing I wanted to do, and that was to build a toilet. So if I go here like this, toilets, and I copy that room, I can bring that bad boy. I was going to put that down here somewhere. So what am I going to do? Where am I going to put these toilets? I can't put them there. Patients are asked to wait their turn. I'll drop that one in there like that. There. And done. Right. Upgrading machines makes them more effective. Okay. Freddy Findlay, uh, Freddy Findlater Junior Nurse. It would be great to work in a really spacious environment. Lots of luxury furnishings. Something really prestigious. What do you think? Challenge, get a level 4 general diagnosis. Time limit, 180 days. Rewards, plus 25 happiness and 10k. Except, our doctor discovered a new illness. Porter's head. Porter's head affects both mind and body. Once thought to be caused by proximity to air... It is now known to be chiefly caused by living in Porter's Head. We'll send the patient for treatment in our ward. Okay. That's a, that's a new one on me. Get a level 4 general diagnosis. This is general diagnosis in here. General diagnosis. So let's just pause. This needs to be level 4. So we need to edit. Edit the room. Right. To start off with, we've got those. We can let's, we, let's see if we can get some upgrades. The weighing scales there. Decorative unit. We've got the air con, the ice sculpture, drink fountain. I've got some other plants in here. That's K50. Let's start off with the weighing scales. That would be good. So we will... Uh, I don't really want to put it next to the window, but I suppose we could. Uh, let's move that one round. I'll drop the weighing scales there right at the foot of the bed. That'll be fine. So there's a little bit more prestige. And uh, ice sculpture. Whilst I like the idea of an ice sculpture, I'm thinking a new plant. Because these will go elsewhere in the hospital as well. So I'll get one of those. And then let's rotate round a little bit. We'll put the yucca plant there next to the window and then i want to i've only got 25k points left now so we'll go with a regular plant as well i'm just going to go there jasmine odyssey photo can go up there light-headed poster can go there there's level three i need to get level four general diagnosis getting the level four room prestige level Cost of changes. Right, the level four is going to be considerably more difficult because like, the posters are not making a big difference. They're really not. The weighing scales, that was a pretty big difference, wasn't it? Does a second one help? I can put that in front of the poster as well. Okay, that helped. Two sets of weighing scales in the same room. I'll go with that. I don't mind. Oh, wow, look. Food pyramid poster. Was that a Rorschach poster? Did I just see? Pretty sure I've seen. I got holly wreath. A chair. A clock. Broken inside, but who... <laughs> Broken inside, but who isn't? Hardly comfortable or comfortably hard. Holly Reef, part of the festive tradition of bringing plant matter inside. Increases hospital attractiveness and room prestige. Uh, certificate, laminated for authenticity. It doesn't say how much prestige, does it? 
It sort of doesn't give that in each one. We've got Seasonal, Turtle Head poster, Grey Anatomy poster, Mock Star poster, Rorschach poster right there. 15 points. Definitely need a Rorschach poster. Yes. Absolutely. I'm not allowed to put it behind the door. Well, this is no good. It can't go in the corner behind the door. We can put the Rorschach poster there. Ha 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 ha! Yes! A Rorschach poster on the wall. An eye test poster. Yes, there's another five points. I've only got 5k points left now. We're running out of points. That one will go in there. That's just boosted that up a little bit more. Have I got anything else I can unlock for five points? The chair. Yes. Right, the hardened chair. That one will go in here. Uh, like that. Little bits of prestige. It, it's, it's all helped a little bit. Right. Okay, that. We're getting much, much closer. This is quite the diagnosis room. This is... <laughs> This is quite the diagnostics room. Um, click back on here and then customize in here. I don't have any other customizations. Woodworm. Apply to all room types. So I've only got default in here. I don't have any other things. I can't do anything in a general diagnosis, the ward. I see. Right. So I need to unlock those, which I can't do at the moment, unfortunately. So really, I think the only thing that I can do is change things around out here a little bit. So let's come out of that one. That are you. That one. There. Right. Drop you down here. Now go to you and edit the blueprint. Add that in. Then the door. We'll go out, and I'm going to put the door in the middle so that I've got more room for stuff in the corner. And then we can turn this around now, like this, and I will go for that poster. The eye test poster can go there. Let's zoom in a little bit, shall we? Let's see what we're doing. Right. And then I've got the lightheadedness poster can go there. The Yukon plant can go here. It's going to go right in front of the window. That plant can go over in the corner. I've got the chair here. can go there. That chair here. I'll go there for a minute. I've already got two sets of weighing scales in this room. So another set of weighing scales is probably not going to make much difference. I've got a Rorschach poster back there. And... I want to have a look for another Rorschach poster. and Because that boosted it quite a bit, didn't it? Oh, I see. It's, it's brought everything up that I've unlocked. That's much better. I'll put you in there. Right, it jumped it up a little bit, but not a huge amount. And then another light-headed poster. And another Jasmine Odyssey photo. Ooh, that jumped it up a bit. And again. And again. Yes! Get a level 4 general diagnosis. Right, that's looking pretty good. There. I've got that one now. I've got the level 4 general diagnosis. Let me just move that one and... That one can go back over to there. Well done. We successfully completed the request from Freddy. Find later. Challenge get a level 4 diagnosis. Um, rewards plus 25% happiness. And we get 10k as well. So i got 10k. I need to get some more of that. Okay, and we can go up this way. So I need three patients that will be cured with the extractor pan. We've got this one over here, the deluxe, what do you call, no length, patients processed, one total revenue, 8,000. The ward, five total revenue, 18,000. This one over here, there we go. Dear hospital administrator, Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry like lightning. You have made a mockery of your detractors by striking a second time. 
You are commended on your endeavors on the into the inner workings of machines and the human mind, respectively. Now, focus on your budding two-headed empire, or add a third head, by opening a new hospital in Flottering, as it's currently not much of an empire. Yours, fra yours fragrantly, <laughs> Tarquin Foxbridge Health Minister. I love this game. This game is so cool. So we get an extra kudosh of 100. We will open the map and we will move on a to the next A warm greeting to you all hospital. this fine morning, especially those of you in Fluttering, where renovations have been completed on the bridge that leads to the town's ancient castle. Officials say people crossing over will no longer need to wear parachutes and life jackets. Ah, it just won't be the same. <laughs> okay. It's quite the advert. You will no longer need to wear parachutes and life jackets when you're crossing over the bridge. So I've now got a total of two stars. So we can go back to these hospitals at any point and upgrade them later on for better treatments. Uh, right now we have the fluttering. Learn about staff development and training. Right here. Start. To get the most out of our staff, we'll need to train and promote them. When someone has gained enough experience on the job and had some training, they will be ready for promotion. By promoting, their skills increase and they are able to learn a new qualification. They might also want a pay rise. Firstly, though, we'll need a training license. The Two Point Health Ministry has promised to grant us a license if we can demonstrate our commitment to staff well-being here in Fluttering. So when I was looking at the doctors earlier to see if we could boost them up a little bit, this is what we needed. Staff development. Right. There's not a lot going on here. Get hospital level to four, current level one. Let's pause it. Staff morale of 55%. Current staff morale to increase staff morale. Make sure staff don't get too tired. Ensure they can satisfy their needs. Give them a nice work environment. Give them pay rises, promotions, and training. Select a member of staff to see what is affecting their mood. Hire seven staff. Well, all of these sound relatively simple. There is additional plots. I've got 40 grand on that one. I've got one over there for 50 grand. Can I knock down? I can. I can knock down houses. We've got plot two over there. I've got plot four here. I can make quite a substantial hospital by destroying the rest of the town. Okay, so we don't need to worry about the rest of the town at the moment. And we have got a boatload of money. So we want to go to items first. We want to go to reception. And that one is going to go there. I want to make sure that that is lined up perfectly with the entrance of the hospital just like that. And that is going to go there like that. Our reception needs an assistant. We're going to have purple benches in this one. Now... It's even all the way across, so I'm thinking that what we're going to do is I'll swing around this way first. We will put the drinks machine like that and the snack machine like that. We'll go the other side of the window. Then I will put a bin in between the two directly beneath the window right there. Okay, so that it's all looking good. It's all looking swish and tickety-boo. And... Invalid wall option. Right. That one can go there. Then we're going to take these benches and these. Let's do this side first. These are going to go here. So I'll bring that out from the wall a little bit. I think that'll be okay there. And then another one right next to it there. And another one right next to it there. And then I'll do the same over here so that I've got plenty of room for patients to sit. Let's go like that. That one's in the wrong place. There is where I want to put that one. And then another one over here. Like that. Uh... Yeah, I want those moved over a little bit, I think. We'll move this around a little bit. Let's get rid of you. Go with that one and... All right, you've got to go there a minute. 
I'll get that one and I'll move that one over to that side so that I can put this one in against the wall over here. And then you can shunt along a little bit. And then I've got seating over on this side like this. There, perfect. And bins, a leaflet stand. That would be good. We'll put the leaflet stand out here on the edge like that. So there's still plenty of room for everybody to come in, round and get past. Um, they, they've got everything they need over here. We will put a yucca plant in here somewhere. I'll put a yucca plant there. And I will put a yucca plant over on that side as well. There. So we've got plenty of greenery in the hospital already. This plant will go here and here like this. Lots of greenery in the hospital. This is looking better and better. And then... Should we put a Rorschach poster in here? I love the Rorschach posters. I really like that. And... A light-headed poster. Let's not put one there. Right, that's that bit done. I've got a load of items there. We've got sort of a whole waiting room type situation going on there. Uh, toilets in here. Do I have any... Like, you, you can't get, like, a pre-made room that you've gone and saved from somewhere else, can you? By the look of it. That's kind of what I'd like. But what we can do, we can go here and I can make use of that. Because it can't go out that side, but the room needs to be a 2 by 3 so if I put it there, right, so recept, yeah, okay, I've changed my mind. I don't want to put it there. Actually, yes, I can put it there because this plant over here, I'm going to move the plant instead. I'll put the plant back there. I'll go back behind the desk and then I've still got room to put the room in here. We've still got room for the room. And that one can go in there like that. The door will go this side this time. And then those will go in here like that. I'll put one there and I'll put one there. And then we will go with the sink. Goes in this corner. The hand dryer I put there on that side. This was how I did it last time, wasn't it? And then I've got the big bin, which will go in here. That one cannot fit in there. So that's got to go next to the hand dryer over here. And then I put a fire extinguisher in here as well, which goes there. So there I've got a toilet. And schmastic right there. I want to hire in here. I need an assistant who will work the front desk. Now, customer service to enhance reception skills. You are the one, Susie Cucumber. Is it Suze? Suza? Susie? Could be any of the above. You will go right there. You are reception. I am going to hire a janitor who will clean the toilets. Right here, I've got increased repair and maintenance. I don't have upgrade skills on this one. Increased speed and efficiency. This is the perfect janitor. Maintenance 2. Maintenance 3. I'm also allowed to capture ghosts. This is such a perfect janitor. $25,000 to hire this janitor, admittedly. But it is the perfect janitor, so you are going to run this hospital and keep everything going. And then upgrades, I will get a different janitor, a different janitorial person to go and do the whole upgrading malarkey. Now, of course, we're going to want general diagnosis to start off with, and that one will go there. So our first diagnosis room is going to be that one, and then the door is going to be a center door. Oh, wait, no, I don't want that. I don't want a diagnosis room. Yes, I want to stop editing that room. I want to move that plant back there. Uh, rooms, I don't want general diagnosis. I want a GP's office to start with. That's the one I wanted here. The door will go there in the middle. And then the GP's desk needs to go that way round. And it will go right there, slap bang in the middle. And then the filing cabinet will go there. I'll do a second filing cabinet. Which will go there. We'll put weighing scales in here. Like that. And we'll put a big bin. In here. Like that. 
Let's go and do this side. We're going to need an extinguisher in here somewhere. Where am I going to put the extinguisher? I could actually put the extinguisher there. So I don't need to worry about it sort of blocking up anything else. We'll put an eye test poster in here. Actually, the eye test poster needs to go in the middle. Kind of about there, I would say. And I've got the light-headed Jasmine Odyssey. We'll put a yucca plant in here. In the corner. I'll put another plant in that corner. We'll put a Rorschach poster up. We will get a Jasmine Odyssey picture. There, like that. And... I'm going to need just a little bit more. I don't know what to put in just for the last bit. I've already got weighing scales. We're going to have to put in another poster. So it's either... I've got... What have I got? I haven't got the light-headed poster. I'll put the light-headed poster there. We'll put all three posters there. I Still not enough. I need one more Jasmine photo. Jasmine, you can go there. And boom. There. We've just got prestige level three. That's what I wanted. So that one is done there. I've got a beautiful, prestigious office right there, which is absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to go to hire. Well, so what's his characters? Staff patients and illnesses. Use the staff list patient as an illnesses to monitor, manage, uh, the monitor and manage people in the hospital. Quickly find staff patients, then jump to them in the hospital. Right, okay. Uh, illnesses. Use the illnesses list to review which illness has been encountered in this hospital so far. Right. Rage quit, fatalities, ineffect. Rage quit? <laughs> okay, right, so th there's a whole load of stuff there that we don't need to worry about. That's finance, uh, data view. I just want to hire at the moment, and I want a doctor. So this doctor here is GP diagnosis. That one is treatment of skill, and this one is energy drains at a reduced rate. That is quite a good doctor. But this one here, diagnosis 15%, diagnosis 10%. That's the doctor that I want for the original diagnosis. Who's going to go in there? So I've got that one. I want next a treatment room. We're going we're gonna to build the stuff. The, the, the problem is, like, if I go here with this one, I can copy, create a copy, sell the room, make the jobs in this room high priority, but I can't, like, make a permanent copy so that I can then just go and use the room in the next hospital that I want to build, which is a bit of a shame. It's a bit disappointing that I can't do that. But still, never mind. Right, so I've got a diagnostics room. I want a pharmacy here so that I can have a basic diagnostics for that as well. So I've got you there, and then I've got the drug machine, which will go into that corner, and that's it. So we'll put a filing cabinet in this room, which will go there. We'll put a bin next to this... Filing cabinet and a fire extinguisher. Actually, the fire extinguisher. No, that can't go there. The fire extinguisher can go next to this room. That next to the machine there. And we'll put a plant over in this corner. And then we'll put... Well, I'm level 2 prestige. I'm not going to change anything else in there, I don't think. Might just put a chair in here. Just to make it a little bit easier. Just, just in case we want to sit down on a chair at any point. It's always, always something that you might want to do is just, just to have a little sit down. Prestige is climbing. I could turn this into a level three room. Costs money to do that, but it, it's still a thing that I could do. I could put a jasmine photo there. A light-headed poster. Right there. A Rorschach poster. Right there. A yucca plant over in the corner. At that going up. I, t I don't really want an eye test poster in this room. I put another chair. We'll go with that one there. Look, put that round. There we go. Prestige level three done. I need a nurse to go in here, so I will go to nurses. I've oh wow, ward management. We need a ward to make it take full advantage of that one. You increase treatment skills, so I would say that Ursula Windmill is the one to go in here. But I'd also say that I want to build a ward, and 
then I've got the perfect nurse to go in the ward that I've already seen. I've got cardiology right there, which is a room that we haven't built yet. So I need a minimum of four by three. This ward is actually going to be a big, long ward like that. The door is going to go right over in this side, as far over as I can put it. It's got to go there, apparently. Uh, the nurse's station is going to go there like that. Like that. I've got this one here where they go and get changed. That one's going to go... Actually, that one's going to go here, right next to... The, can it go in? It can go in the corner. Ideal. Right, we want to put that one there. And then I want the beds. So the beds are going to go on this side. Like that. So that one can go in the corner. And then you just got to bring them out a little bit. Can't put them there. Can I? No, I can't. I want to move that one. That one's got to move over a little bit. They've got to, they, they do have to be quite a ways apart, don't they? So we move that one over to there. And I move that one over to there. So I've got four beds in the ward over here. And then swivel you round by one. I can put a bed there. And I can put another bed there. And another bed there. I can put... I've got six beds in here. You know what? Go for it. Go for it, Frith. Why not? Why don't we put an extra bed in here? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I've got an idea. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make this room a little bit bigger like that. Ward door. It's going to go there. That one is going to come down to there. That one is going to... Uh, I keep pressing R to rotate. I don't want to do that. You're going to go to there. You're going to go to there and then bed. One there and one there like that. And then I'm going to put a locker. Now, what I'd like to do, actually, is put a locker next to each bed. Let's see if we can do that. I can put a locker next to each bed like this. There. And one there. And then I'll go over this side. And I'll put a locker next to each of these beds over here as well. And that one there. And then I've got the nurse's station. The bedside table is the next bit. It doesn't quite fit that way, but we can put them this way. Now that doesn't fit there. It could go that way. I know what I can do. Oh, really? Uh, right, the locker is in the wrong place for me to make this work. I can't really put the bed... Okay, so we'll forget the bed a minute. And I'll move this one instead. Let's see, I can't put the locker at the foot of the bed. Right, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit over here. That locker there is in the wrong place. So we're going to have to get rid of some of these lockers, I think. That one's going to go there. Put one there. And one next to it. And I'll put you... Right, that one doesn't fit. I can't put any more lockers here. There's one more thing that I can do. I can put the lockers like that. One there. And then one here. Like that. And then you, right up against it like that, and one more over here, and that one will go right up against there like that. that. Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today, so we will return next time. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like, and if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me, get them to come and watch as well, that would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching, this is Frithgar, goodbye, and see you later.